The Malign Covenant is the debut album from Verminous Serpent, which is a, an Irish trio which features members, uh, prominent members of Primordial, Slidhere, and uh, Malthusian, who um, all kind of show up for this record in, in, a, in a pretty cool way if you like this style of mid-paced, almost Doom-influenced uh, black metal. And uh, I'm a huge fan of this, dating back to, you know, like the first... Samael album and uh, of course Celtic Frost and whatnot are also related in the whole conversation but really I'm getting ahead of myself uh, what this band does is probably more along the lines nowadays of what you would find in uh, Cult is Ghouls Negative Plane and uh, I liken the pace of it to uh, Head of the Demon or Warian where it is definitely a, a blackened doom metal feeling but uh Roman and serpent have much more of a a venomous uh, a sort of biting atmospheric touch to everything they do which is distinct in its own way uh, it's very much centered around the rhythm rather than the riff and i know that doesn't make sense right away but these are these songs aren't structured in a way that uh, are doing more than walking us through they're not necessarily uh, they're returning to riffs. They're getting there when they can. But a lot of this feels very jammed. It feels very much uh, uh, emerging from the self in the moment. And uh, you'll feel that as the album starts from sort of a clattering warm-up phase into the uh, main riff and first song proper. Uh, so we'll get to a clip just to give you a sense of the movement that I'm talking about because it's a, it's pretty much a constant throughout the album. <laughs> So when I try to give a little bit of, his, of a uh, precedence and a history lesson on what's uh, where this comes from in black metal and why mid-paced black metal is so effective, I think maybe it's just obvious enough to, to point to a song like Call from the Grave or, uh, you know, like an earlier negative plane song. And there, there you just kind of get it that these slower, sinister pieces uh, do have a lot of power to them when the song and the riff connect in a, in the same way that an old Celtic Frost or Dream Death song did back in the day. Uh, and Mortuary Drape kind of pulled from the same uh, peel. So that gets us there. You know, I touch upon Dark Throne and Barathrone for some of the uh, expression available to this style and what those bands have done in Black Doom Metal and how that applies here. But really, this is a, a corridor that you're going... It is their own corridor. It's their own walk through the mist. You know, this is the sort of record where uh, it reverberates more as you pass through it. The more that you immerse into it, the more that those rhythms and movements count beyond uh, nuance. And that's not to say that there aren't memorable memorable pieces here, but I when I went to look for clips and when I look, went to look for just like the undeniable riff moment, I found that they all counted in the same um they they counted in the same uh, in the same way. They uh, really needed to be felt in context, and you really need to follow the band through the full thread. The only exception is the final song, which uh, feels cumulative. It feels separate from the jam of the rest of the record. So for me, this album felt like a, a really spectacular live and studio performance in many ways, because it does uh, pull this very consistent thread throughout the, the whole way through. And it's this menacing uh, sort of psychotic black metal stomp through the full thing and there there are things that are like that in the history of black metal but there aren't quite any there isn't quite anything exactly like that so this was a, a pretty cool record to sit with um it ends up with just a high recommendation that might seem kind of low for how much i enjoyed it but i found that it, again it it doesn't stick in my head so much as i want to go walk down that path again with them you know i, I want to to follow them down that corridor but i don't necessarily it doesn't leave a huge mark on me and more so than I like being in, uh, you know, under that possession. I like, you know, I like going in and following them where they're going. So, uh, no real major criticisms of the sound. I think everything is pretty pristine. These guys are professionals, uh, 
all of the rhythms are worthy, none of it feels half-assed, and I think the vocals take some pretty interesting turns here to keep things interesting. So uh, I think the one note I had was that like, I, think, I think the drummer was unexpectedly great on this thing, so that's like a pretty big note. Uh, there's just such power in the drums between the sound and the performance that it just feels like the guy's driving the ship, and it's it's pretty cool. So focus on that if that interests you, and uh, read the full review, uh, get uh, some more details, and check out the album tomorrow when it releases. <laughs>